lovelies welcome back to my channel so glad you guys came back to see another video and yes this is a haul video now these are fragrances that i've gathered a couple months ago it's not all in one shot so don't get too um judgy here now okay these are fragrances i've gathered because in my collection i've sold a few i've bought a few so i've been you know revamping my collection so if you want to see the new ones that I got in my collection, then please stay tuned. The first one that I hauled, as soon as it came in stock, I got this. I was stalking the website for this. And this is Jean-Paul Gaultier um, La Belle uh, Intense. Is it intense? La Belle La Parfum. That's what this one is. So there's the original and then there's this one. I was so excited to get this because guys, I really, really love the original so i got my hands on this one now this one is a very um this one has mm, you get that original and now i know you saw a lot of reviews on this so i'm just giving you a little cap how, how i feel about it now this is the original but it's um to the dry down like the, the first initial spray it smells like the original but then there's a creamy a creamy heavier thicker version of the original is not as bright and fresh and airy as the original this one is more deep and dense and thick and yes you get that tonka bean to the dry down more more than the other one the other one doesn't have tonka bean this one has the tonka bean and the dry down so which one do i prefer honestly i still love my original labelle she can do no wrong she's bright she's fresh she's happy this one on the other hand i do love it but if i had to choose i like the original better but this one would be stunning in the winter months so i haven't really been wearing this now because it's too heavy for now so yeah so i will be playing with this for the winter months up next we have this one from the house of mancera and it's amber fever now the liquid is clear the bottle is pretty so i heard a lot about this and i was really excited to try this fragrance so this fragrance it's the top notes listen to what it says it says caramel whiskey tonka bean hazelnut the middle has rose indian jasmine violet and the base it has amber white musk teakwood and oak musk so when i saw those notes i'm like girl that's right up my alley so i ordered this now this is really nice. It's a really pretty fragrance. But I was kind of disappointed in the sense that I thought this was going to be a heavy hitter. I thought with the notes that I saw, I thought it was going to be one powerhouse of a fragrance. No, it smells beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's not as projecting or long lasting as well not really long lasting it's long lasting but like i don't smell it for a very long time i don't know if i get anosmic tape i don't know what it is but it's not a powerhouse like if i like i'm outside people really can't smell it on me unless the wind catch me or something and with these notes i was expecting base mode okay but it's not but nevertheless it's beautiful so don't get me wrong it's a beautiful fragrance but i was disappointed in the projection and the sillage of this i thought it was a heavy powerhouse you know what i'm saying but it's not it's a very light soft airy fragrance so this is mancera amber fever beautiful fragrance up next we have from the house of memo paris and it's winter palace this beautiful bottle it is gorgeous winter palace now this fragrance i'm so happy to have it in my collection it's very unique to my collection now the the um the notes are orange red tea tulu balsam vanilla lemon grapefruit metai or metis, tonka bean amber bergamot it has benzoin it has labdanum and musk and, and some more stuff guys this is a prominent tea fragrance the tea is very very prominent the tea smells almost minty a bit. You smell the freshness of the, the orange and the lemon. It has, I could definitely pick up the lemon and like the citrus in this and the tea. 
but it dries down to a nice musky vanilla tea fragrance. It's really pretty. It has a kind of coal vibe state, like a, I can't explain it. Probably that's why they call it winter palette, but the tea note gives it a kind of minty coal vibes, but then the lemon and the, the orange and stuff, there's a brightness. This is how ginger, no it doesn't. But it has this bright citrus top with that tea note and then it dries down to a creamy vanilla. As I say, the tea is very prominent. It's almost minty like, it's almost mint like. But that's the red tea. Gorgeous on, the, on paper, it smells different, but on your skin, it's really nice and longevity, not bad at all. You get pretty good longevity with this. So this one is Winter Palace. Beautiful fragrance from Memo Paris. Up next, I'm just showing you this fragrance. I know I did a total review on this, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna get into details too much, but I'm just showing it because these are fragrances that I've hauled recently. And this is Kayali uh, Sweet Diamond. Now I did a, a full review on this. You could go check my channel to hear what I have to say about this, but just know that this is a beautiful fragrance. It's a stunner. It's long lasting. It's sweet. It's peppery. It's sensual. It's sexy. Guys, this is K. Ali Sweet Diamond. Up next, we have this fragrance that I've been eyeing for a while and I got a good deal on it. So I snatched it. Now, this is more for the winter time, but hey, when the deal comes, you got to take it because you may not get that deal again. And this is from the house of YSL, the private line. And this is Caban. Is it Caban? Yeah, Caban. Guys, I didn't even realize when I bought this, this was a huge bottle. This is the big one because the YSL tuxedo that I have is a smaller version, but this is the big one. So, oh my God, this is so good. It has this note of LME. They said LME is a, a fresh, spicy, it's like a resin and it gives like a citrus vibe. So the notes for this is, this has the LME, it has pink pepper, it has black pepper, so it's very spicy to the top. It has olibdanum, I can't say that word, osmanthus, tonka bean, sandalwood, and patchouli. Guys, this is so, so gorgeous. It's warm, it's spicy, it's ambery. Guys, this is a stunner for the fall and winter months. It's such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And it's a bit, it's a little bit powdery too. So it's like so, so good. I can't wait to, wait to wear this for the fall and winter months. It's a little bit too heavy and thick now for the summer. I, I don't think I could handle this right now unless it's a cool, nice evening. You could probably get away with this, but guys, this is so, so beautiful and long lasting. So this is Caban by YSL. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. She's beautiful. The one that I haul is from the house of Christian Dior, the private line. And this is Amber and Lee. Guys, when I, I did a full review on a house review on the ones that I have. And this was one that was on my wish list to get a full bottle of. And I'm so, so happy to have this in my collection. This is one gorgeous amber scent it's ambery it has hold on oh my goodness the amber the rose it has pink pepper it has bergamot it's grapefruit guys this is so beautiful it has that ambery feeling but it's a little bit powdery it is powdery on my skin but the warmth of the amber and it's not a heavy amber it's so light and airy. This is an amber that you could get away in all season, in my opinion. I could totally wear this in the summer and not choke people out. This is one stunning fragrance. Amber Nui, I'm so, so happy to have this in my collection. Oh my goodness. It's very powdery and sweet and mm, it's really, really gorgeous. Guys, get your nose on Amber Nui from Christian Dior. It's a stunner. And as I said, you hear the word, the name Amber New, you think it's a heavy winter scent. In my opinion, no, you can get away with this. And as I said, in all seasons. So get your nose on Amber Nui by Christian Dior. Well, this other beauty that I'm going to talk about, I know you've seen this on my channel, so I'm just adding it to my haul. And this is from the house of Kajal and it's Dahab. So I spoke about this already. You know, this is a tropical paradise. This is a 
beautiful fresh sweet passion fruit and patchouli and green apple no granny smith apple guys this is beautiful as i said i have a full review on this so you could go check it out if you want to hear some more on this so this is kajal dahab guys i know the video is long it's a long haul so you might want to grab a snack because we still have a few more to go i know we did a lot already but i don't know why i wait so long i wait till so long and then to do a haul because i'm like i don't know maybe i should do little ones as soon as i get them a few i should do hauls but anyway it is what it is okay grab a snack grab a drink grab a cocktail if you drink i don't drink so it doesn't matter this other one is a total stunner this one i don't have this is my first from this house i have never tried anything from this house actually i bought two fragrances from this house and i ended up selling the other one i posted it on my instagram it's a silver one something with patina or, or something i can't remember the name of it but that one guys i did not like it 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 was a nice iris but at the beginning when you sprayed that it smelled like body odor it was kind of gross i don't know if it had like that dirty patchouli in it but usually i love patchouli but something in it was earthy and a little bit dirty that i couldn't handle because i like when you smell deep in it smells like body odor and i'm like yo i i bought it i sprayed it once or twice and i'm like nope i can't get with this it's gone it has that freshness of the iris which was pretty i'll put a picture of it the one that i am talking about i'll put a picture of it but mm -mm, i couldn't stand that i had to get rid of it so yeah that was a feel but this one oh my god let me tell you what it is oh my god look at the bottle first of all look at this bottle okay let me don't show you my reflection in my camera it's called ishra and mirage i think that's how you say it but guys just look omg it's so beautiful and oh this is from the house of <laughs> maybe i should tell you it's ishra and mirage from stefan hambert lucas okay we'll leave it at that so this is what it looks like and let me tell you the notes this fragrance oh my god it starts off with cinnamon nutmeg let me spray this inside they're gonna smell real good oh this is another warm uh cold weather fragrance okay it starts off with cinnamon it has nutmeg mandarin orange okay it has bergamot heliotrope heliotrope it's like it gives it a um it's a almondy smelling like a vanilla almond kind of smell and you definitely get that in the dry down so yeah so it has that heliotrope it has osmanthus vanilla ambergris white musk sandalwood guys i love sandalwood in a fragrance it gives it that nice creamy base it has patchouli of course a leather and agarwood but the leather is not too strong so if you don't like leather i think you'll be fine with this one the leather is not strong at all guys but you get that heliotrope that almondy kind of smell it has a kind of vibes like okay this one i don't have it in my collection yet but it's on my to buy list from initio um what's it called psychedelic love you know it has that almondy kind of heliotrope vibe so it has that almondy quality but you smell the vanilla and the opening has the spices guys this is so creamy it's so well rounded guys i absolutely love it and a little goes a long way this was one successful blind buy i absolutely love it so you need to get your hands on this one so this one is ishra and mirage so so beautiful oh my god beautiful inside out okay next i spoke about this a few times in some videos it, it popped up because she's been starring lately in my videos and this is killian moonlight in heaven guys another one of my oh beautiful coconut mango oh my god it has a rice note vetiver tonka bean so as i said before this is not your basic coconut tropical fragrance it has a creaminess it it has some difference to that rice note gives it a different vibe the tonka bean to the end it has like a bright opening but then a creamy base guys this is really really nice the only downfall with this uh fragrance from killian is that it doesn't last very long which sucks but i have been laying it with my oils from oil perfumery and that has been really helping these fragrances so this is moonlight in was it moonlight in heaven bacillian 
and the bottle guys this is my first blue bottle from Killian all of them is black and white but this is the blue so it's pretty this other one I got from the house of BDK yes BDK has some some bangers okay so this is Passasoir this one I needed to get this one for the summer okay I had to get this one for the summer because there was so much buzzing with this and I'm like girl just get it because I didn't know how it smelled but from how it was described I'm like what is there not to like guys this is beautiful mm. oh and BDK has some nice misters you can see that mm. oh yes guys it's bright the opening has mandarin it has ginger it has black pepper so a little bit of spice up in there it has the note of quince which is in my which other fragrance that I have is quince one of my Zuzhev has the quince and I love it. It has Moroccan jasmine, it has orange blossom, cashmere, amber wood, amber wear, yeah, Singapore patchouli. Singapore patchouli. I don't know what's the difference, but guys, this is nice. No, it's not a very long lasting fragrance, but the other day I wore it and it catch my clothes. I, I was wearing it at home, testing it out and it catch my clothes. And every time I go like this, I could smell it on my clothes. So if you want it to last longer, let it catch your clothes, spray it all over your clothes. This is a bright, fresh fragrance. It's very summery. It's very girly. It's very pretty. It's one of those pretty scents, you know, like a pretty sundress kind of thing. This is that, that fragrance. It reminds me of something that I have and I can't put my finger on it. I don't know what it is, but that's what happens, you know. When you have so much fragrances, things start to smell like other things and you're like, what does it smell like? And it drives you nuts when you can't figure out what it is. But it's very very nice i really really like it i'm so happy to have it in my collection so that's passissoire by bdk this is the bottle again so yeah up next we have one from one of my <laughs> i have to say it's one of my favorite houses now not the favorite but i have so much from this house and i still want to have some more because i've been watching it guys this is from zuzhov and this is 40 knots i have been eyeing this for a while and I heard some really good reviews and I heard that it's such a great summer scent so I had to get my hands on it guys look at it it's on the join the club collection I think yeah 14 knots I didn't get the big one because I'm not sure how this smells so let's see so this has woody notes it has cedar wood it has salt it has seawater green notes this well, that's what they said, but I heard these fragrances, you can't be sure because they don't really give out the notes. On my skin, what I get, I get that slight marine kind of to vibes. Not really aqua, but that marine vibes. You get that a little bit of saltiness, but it's so powdery on my skin. When I spray this on my skin, it's very powdery, but not in a bad way. You get slight woodiness but it's very very creamy I don't know what gives it that creaminess slightly marine vibes but very very powdery and very creamy like it has a lot of it smells like it has vanilla it doesn't state vanilla in here but it has vanilla in this something in this is sweet and powdery on my skin it's very like it has a nice scent bubble like when I spray it I keep getting whiffs of it and it's so pretty now to me it's not very aquatic I'm not getting that like how they said it's so aquatic and that marine vibe you get it to me I get it slightly I get mostly powdery vanilla vibes on my skin with a little bit of woods but it's beautiful I really like it so that is um where did you go 40 knots by Zuzhov so let's keep it with Zuzhov I have another Zuzhov that I bought this other Zizhov, this other Zizhov, I feel like I just bought it for the bottle. Even though the note sounded great, I wanted to get it because it's so pretty. Guys, look at this bottle. Just, just look. I don't even think the camera could do justice to this. Because in here, it looks a different blue to the actual blue. It's like a teal blue in real. This looks more like a baby blue kind of, but it's actually a teal blue. I don't know how to get this. I don't know if the lights, I don't know. Guys, it is so pretty. With my collection, it just looks adorable. Guys, this here, it's a powerhouse. This, I don't even want to spray it because I'll choke myself out in this room because it's closed up. And I sprayed so many things already. This has Sicilian orange. It has bergamot. It has lemon. It has a bunch of fruits in the middle. It has musk, Madagascar vanilla, and some amber. Guys, 
This is a perfect summer scent. It's bright and it's fresh, but guess what? To me, I heard about it, but I didn't think it was that close. But this is the exact, exact dupe of Alharmain Amber Oud Gold. Guys, is it Amber Oud? Amber, yeah, Alharmain, the dupe for this from Alharmain. Guys, and to me, Alharmain is even stronger than this. Now, this is strong, but Alharmain, I think it's even stronger. It's such a powerhouse. So if you don't want to spend the coins on this, go for um, Alharmain Amber Oud Gold, the gold edition. Because trust me, it's the exact smell and the projection and longevity might be even better than this, even though this is a powerhouse, okay? So if you want that dupe, try it. It's good. Don't worry about nobody, girl. So this is Urba Bapu. What? Urba? How do you pronounce this really, guys? Urba Pura by Zerjov, okay? Guys, all these names I have to remember. It's hard, okay? Bear with me. So again, beautiful bottle. Up next, we have this celebrity fragrance that I've been eyeing for a while. Everybody talks about it, and I'm like, Nisha, girl, just get it. Now, I bought a Chester bottle, and it's the first time I bought a Chester, and it came without a cap, and I was so mad, but, you know, it is what it is. This is Ariana Grande Cloud. Guys, this is so pretty. This is really, really nice. It has that um, whipped cream and the coconut and the vanilla and a little bit of woodsy notes. Everybody knows about uh, Cloud. My daughter is in love with this, so I think this would be living in her collection because... She absolutely loves it. So I told her, I said, you know, we're going to share, okay? So you'll keep it by you, less uh, space from me. So yeah, this is Cloud. So I had to add this to my collection because, guys, this is one celebrity fragrance that is popping, okay? This is so nice. It's really good. You need to get your nose on this if you haven't already. I think I might be the only one late to the game, but uh, yeah, I'm here, okay? I'm here. Guys, this other one is by the House of Tower. And this is, let me see if I could pronounce this name correctly because I don't want to butcher it. It's, um, hmm, hold on. It's called Akira du Desert. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. I'll put the name up so you pronounce it, okay? So it comes like this. It comes like in a metal tin. So you just slide it out like this. And the fragrance sits in here. It's a little bottle. But this whole thing expensive. So this is what it looks like. No, this is the EDP. This is not the EDT. This is the EDP. So it's more concentrated. It's a little more rich. It's a little more deep. Guys, this is such a beautiful. Oh my God. It's such a beautiful amber. It's spicy. It's a little bit smoky. Guys, It when I spray this on my skin, the magic happens as it dries down. It's get, it just gets sweeter and sweeter on my skin. I could just, the smell just radiates from my skin. It's so, so beautiful. Oh my God, guys, this is a powerhouse, okay? Oh my God. This is so, so beautiful. You got to get your hands on this. Let me give you some of the notes on this. Um, it has, uh, where is the notes? No, some of the notes, it says coriander, cumin, patchouli, cedar, ambergris, and resins. So those are just some of the notes that they give you. But guys, this is so much more. This is very ambery. It's such a mysterious, dark fragrance. It's so, to me, it's so sexy. It's so alluring. This is another cold weather fragrance. But guys, this is a powerhouse. You don't need much of this. You just spray a little bit and you're good to go. There's a sweetness like a vanilla in this. It's a the ambery vanilla. Oh my God, it's so intoxicating. As I said, it's very mysterious. This I absolutely love and I'm so happy to have this in my collection. So that's, um, let's try to say it again. Uh, a Cure du Desert. Desert. Okay, I'll put the name as I said. So yeah, so I'm so happy to have this baby in my collection. She's beautiful. Guys, I think I might have to split this video in two because it's getting out of hand now. Because I'd be like, Lord of mercy, I still have so much fragrances to show. Okay, let's move on. The other one that I have in my collection is from the house of X De Ihilo, X Ihilo Rider. This is how it comes in the little box. It's another tiny 30ml. These come 
Like a lot of these come into the ML. This is so tiny when I saw it. I'm like, for real, for real? You're so little. Look at this cute little thing. Let me straighten you up. Why you look all crooked? So this is Ryder. Now, I heard so many good things about this. I heard my girl Lauren rave about this. And we have similar tastes. So I'm like, oh, Lord of mercy. Now, people might think this is a kind of masculine kind of vibes. But if you like uniflex, un unisex fragrances, you're going to absolutely love this fragrance. Guys, this is so beautiful. It has, it's ambery. It's resinous. It's intoxicating, okay? It's intoxicating. Let me find the notes for this. So, so guys, the notes for this is uh, sweet pipe tobacco, aromatic esters, whatever that is, resinous amber, dark woods, jasmine, and frankincense. Guys, oh my God, Ryder is so sexy. Oh my God, let me spray this. Oh my goodness, guys, this is deep. I wrote some notes because I had to write, like I sprayed this on my skin and I'm like, I need to write how I feel about this. This was so, so it has that ambery, resinous kind of vibes. It's very intoxicating, yes it is. It's deep, it's rich. It, there's a hint of tobacco in this. You could smell the tobacco in this. Guys, it's kind of, it to me, it's kind of boozy. It's so, so pretty. Another dark one for the winter. This one is not a fall and spring vibe. This is heavy, dark, resinous, boozy, ambery, intoxicating kind of vibes. So if you're looking for that, this one, as I said, you, you might want to sample this first because this, this may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I really, really like it. To me, it's so sexy and dark. And this one, a man too, oh my word. It's so alluring. It's like, ladies, as uh, if you like all those fruity, fresh, girly fragrances, you will not like this. Do not blind buy this, okay? You need to try this out first. So this is a rider. So get your nose on this. This is a really good one for the winter four months. This other one I got is from another brand that I never tried anything from, and I heard good things about this, and I wanted to try it. This is from the bar brand DS and Durger, and this is Radio Bombay. Okay, Radio Bombay. The box, it's a weird looking box and I couldn't get it back in it. So I'm like, I just threw that away. Guys, this is a woody sandal wood fragrance. Now, when I heard it had sandal wood and all that, I jumped on the bandwagon because I love, love sandal wood. I realize there's so many fragrances that I have that I really love this sandal wood. So this has woody notes. It has cedar. You could smell the cedar in this. When you initially spray this, let me spray some on my hand because this is a kind of okay you definitely smell the woods to the top you smell the cedar there's sandalwood but there's a little sweetness in it i guess that comes from the peach it has iris it has sandalwood coconut ambergris ambergris a whole bunch of stuff musk and all that but to me all i get is woody notes with a little bit of sweetness and you get that sandalwood it's very creamy you get a little bit of coconut guys the thing is I don't know how I feel about this as yet. I'm on the fence about it because it was a blind buy. You know, it's like I like it, but I don't like it. <laughs> I sprayed it and I'm like, I don't really like it too much, but I keep going every time. I keep smelling it. I'm like, if you don't like it, why you keep smelling it? There's something that draws me to it. So I'm like, I like it, but I don't like it. So it's that kind of smell. No, I'm not sure about longevity and sillage and all that because I really haven't worn it out of the house because I'm thinking, oh, nobody, you know, I may not even smell this. But guys, I'm working on this. I want to try it a few more times and see if it falls into, to see if I would love it, to see if I fall in love with this. But as I said, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. But then when I spray it, I keep going back and smelling it. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? It has this kind of... I can't explain it. It's a weird smell. You smell it at sandalwood, but it's kind of wet, damp. I can't, I don't know. It's it's really weird. But then there's a sweetness to it. I'm not really getting much coconut, but at the top I got that cedar and it has that fur balsam. 
what is that? And then it has musk. So it's like a, probably said for a while, so I'm giving that mossy kind of wet, damp feeling. So yeah, so I'm still playing with this to see how I feel. I'm not quite sure. This is, I'm on the fence about this. But as I said, I keep smelling it. So something's drawing me to it. So yeah, so that's Radio Bombay by D.S. and Durga. Up next, I bought this fragrance from Gallagher Fragrances. I own one other fragrance, which is Rosé All Day, one of my absolute faves. So they were having a sale, I think 15% off because they were moving or something, but it took like a month and something for the fragrance to actually be shipped. But I'm like, ah, I'm not in a hurry because this to me is a winter scent. So this is what, first time I ordered the 30 ml, guys. I have the 100 ml in the other one. And when I saw this, I was like, what the hell? It's so tiny. When I opened the box, I'm like, I had to check the ML. I'm like, are you sure? Look at this little thing. <laughs> Look at that. It's so teeny weeny. Guys, OMG. Look at that. Look at that. Behold patchouli. But it's so cute though. Guys, this one, I wouldn't say you should blind buy this. You have to try this first. This is a very unique smell. But I like it. It's quite different. So it has Indonesian patchouli, of course, because it's behold patchouli. So the top notes is patchouli. It has chocolate. It has amber. It has blood orange. Olibda, olib, you know what that word is? Olibdana, ab, olibdanum. Bitter orange. Sweet orange. Tonka bean. Clementine. Musk. Cream soda. Aldehydes. Benzoin. Australian sandalwood, neroli, Spanish lab number. Whoa, it has everything up in here. But this, you get that orangey, you get a chocolatey vibes with this. It's like, hmm, let me spray this. This is so strong, I'm scared to spray it up in here too. Oh my God. It's like a chocolate covered orange. Mm, chocolatey for sure and that orangey mm, it's like those you know those in those boxes with the chocolates I don't like the taste of it but I like the smell of it you get the the chocolate and when you bite it it has the the um what you might call it the orangey filler like it's like oozy goozy kind of thing I don't like how it tastes because I just like my chocolate plain or with nuts or whatever but I hate those icky things in it but this is what it smells like very very nice very chocolatey this would be really nice for the colder weather so guys this is really nice so this is behold patchouli by Gallagher fragrances so guys the last one I'm going to talk about I have two others but I'm going to do a separate review on that so I wouldn't really count that in this but guys I got my hands on this star this is angel ice star by nuclear guys oh my god it's so pretty I got this literally, it came in the mail yesterday. I have all from the collection since 2019. So I've been saving them. So I want to collect every one for every year because every year they bring out one. Guys, this is so nice. Let me show this one a second. To me, it reminds me of the first one, the mango one, the 2019 but it has more coconut and more pineapple. Oh my God, this is a tropical dream. This is definitely, definitely a summer, summer fragrance. Lots of coconut, pineapple. It has patchouli in this, but I don't really pick up the patchouli. It has praline, vanilla. Guys, it's so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. So this is the star. So guys, we have reached the end of my haul. Thank you guys for staying with me till the end. You're my real supporters, my my ride or dies who stay with me and comment in every video, guys. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the kind words. Even if you give me the thumbs, thumbs down, hey, it is what it is. You're not going to like me. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. So, yeah. So, guys, until next video, be safe. Be kind and smell fabulous. Bye now.